Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Burst CG back here, and today we are talking about some Marvel's Avengers for the third time. Uh, if you didn't already know, there's been some interesting news that came from Miller last night, and basically, just to kind of go over those real quick, uh, we got some information regarding the fact that a multiplayer version of Modox fight seems to be in the works. Uh, a new Professor Hulk skin is actually on the way, and it looks like it's supposed to be the Hulk with the bunny slippers outfit, and that's one of the ones I've actually really wanted for a long time. I, I've, I've been saying, why can't they do this? It's one of the more simpler ones. They could even reuse some of the things they got in-game for it. doesn't even have to be exotic quality, but it's, it's finally looking like they got it on the roster to come up at some point. Um, but also, he did briefly talk about cloning labs. Now, there wasn't really a whole lot of you know, new information regarding that, but he basically said in short that it's getting a rework. And I'll play that clip for you here in case you want to hear that. So, Cloning Lab is getting a rework. It will not be the exact same Cloning Lab as before. I can say that empirically. I'm assuming that's where Modoc is showing back up. And also that Hulk cosmetic is coming. All right, so there you have it. Now, he's saying that he sees uh, Modoc coming in there, which I'm not opposed to if that's what happens. However, I also wouldn't be opposed to them using this as an opportunity to throw Ultron in and kind of get that out the way. Because as you know, the Ultron story has been a plot point teased since the game first came out. Now, I don't know how deeply everybody goes into their blog, I mean, not blogs, but the audio logs and whatnot. But basically, there's also been a hint in there about Ultron's existence being something that's out there, right? In, in terms of the fact that the AI already thinks and acts what you would assume Ultron is, right? It has its own thoughts, emotions. It can hide itself and make it seem like it's not reacting. Like, it has thoughts and awareness, right? That's kind of been teased already in those audio logs. And then you kind of see the journey of Roy, and also you see the whole Cosmic Cube thing. So... It's, it's been in the works in terms of story teasing for a while. So while I wouldn't like them to necessarily rush that arc, I would like to see that being brought to the light in something playable this year. Uh, and I think this reworked Cloning Labs would do that justice. I mean, if they throw in MODOK in there, I'm assuming this is their story where MODOK is going to get killed off or... I don't even know what past that point because unless it's to drive the story further with the whole Kree arc, what else then, right? Whereas I would just rather kind of see it as a one-off villain sector that you can just replay now and again that has no s real story significance anymore because at this point, past that story, he's just kind of drifted off in the ocean and who knows where he went, right? Um, but, you know, my thing, I would like to see Ultron because, one... The boss fight for Abomination is four Abominations that just do the regular attacks that you've seen already. The, the large stomp that insta-kills you, um, throwing rocks, like, none of that is really hard to fight against, right? Everything's more or less the same. And the mission structure itself, we've seen, actually, that whole miss mission structure. Somebody has actually played through the whole mission. Multiple people, act actually. Uh, a few streamers and a few content creators on YouTube have captured it. And basically, it's not anything super hyped up, right? It definitely still has that team coordination aspect to it. Um, but compared to what we have now with the raid, is it really necessarily that hard? Is it really going to be something that tests players and, and how they can progress through a mission like that? Probably not. And considering the fact that it was set at 155 at the time, uh, it definitely is not going to live up to difficulty today. So... With that being said, I would like to see them throw an Ultron there. And you can have different ways of this cloning labs working, right? It's I'm saying cloning labs, but think of the fact that it's Ultron and he can literally process a whole bunch of Ultron bots pretty quick, right? So it's an Ultron takeover of this aim facility. Each level that you go up, you're fighting different versions of Ultron until you get to the one that's the strongest one, the strongest version of himself, right? Because as you know, the more you basically try to destroy Ultron, you know, he keeps enhancing himself. I would like to see that for this. Granted, 
I would have liked to see that for like an Avengers takeover type thing. But if this works in the same way that I'm thinking, where you can kind of go up through levels, yeah, fighting different versions of Ultron at each end of those levels, floors, if you will, I see that perfectly fine. The puzzles and stuff, however, I'm not sure how they're going to manage to make that more or less difficult or if they leave them the same. That's something that I would like to see in how they progress. But, you know, the devs have said that this previously, Cloning Labs is not what they wanted it to be, like how, how it lived up to expectations. And I think that has a lot to do with how the game runs today. You know, Cloning Labs even originally had its own gear sets before the actual mission launched to get you prepared to fight those type of missions to have support. Uh, there's pieces that give you extra 15% damage. There's pieces that uh, help you with your intrinsic, help you with your heroic boosts. You know, they did that kind of stuff way back when, uh, but they don't do it as much anymore, at least preemptively before these missions come out. So yeah, they have a lot of tuning and stuff to do with different types of gear sets as rewards for this, uh, the type of enemies and the type of difficulty considering the new max is 175. So, yeah, I, I'm curious to see how that all changes for us. But, again, I would like to see Ultron fill in and take that spot for us. Because I do think that he fits in here. And it gives us a way to have something else just a little bit more exciting for new villains. Because our villains are in a drought. We just got another Taskmaster villain sector, for Christ's sake. So, we need something. But this type of update potentially could be far out there we don't even know you know 2.4 is the event update and probably some fixes for some other stuff 2.5 is jane and hopefully maybe a villain sector we don't really know 2.6 2.7 and out there who knows that could be a modok villain sector if that's not already out that could be cloning labs if that's not already out could be who knows the next operation she hulk we we don't know um but it definitely is going to take some time to get that information so we're kind of we're going to kind of have to sit and wait but yeah what do you guys think do you guys want to see ultron fill in for this and kind of take over um as opposed to it being four abominations or do you guys just want them to kind of throw the mission out as is with updates in the way that the game works today you guys let me know down in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. And hopefully we get some more information this week. I mean, it's going to be pretty slow for a while. But yeah, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.